you're too loud can you please lower your voice you're a woman for crying out loud oh lord you talk too much you talk too much you shouldn't talk too much welcome to the first episode of never a boring moment with vandalin please do like subscribe and comment and do not forget to hit that bell button because you cannot afford to miss my videos okay let's get us started let's get started so today we're doing a get to know me video and we're gonna rewind things right behind 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 first of all i created this channel in 2016 august of, of 2016 but i did not just do it because i was scared no no because i think that time i was just having this mentality that i cannot actually do longer videos i just wanted something so short and get to god just like that yes and keep moving so the vibe was not really there even though it's something that i wanted to do but you know it wasn't there it wasn't just there anyways let's rewind let's go back Okay, so I was born and raised in Africa. My name is Vandalin Rifengla, and I grew up in West Africa. So I moved to the States in 2015, and I've been here for nine years. Yes, I've been. So since I came to the States in 2015, I started working in 2016. Okay, and um, the first job, my first job in America. Oh, my God. Huh. I was hired as a housekeeper in one of the most beautiful hotels in the DMV. Like, so beautiful. So beautiful and amazing. So huge. So I was hired as a housekeeper. That was my first job in America. And believe me, that job is hard. It's hard. I would rather go to the farm than to do housekeeping job. In, in case if you don't know what that means, like you go to the room, you clean the room, you fix the bed, wash the toilet, you know, clean everything and make it so sparkling for the guests to come and sleep in it. Yes. Okay. And we have to do 15 rooms in eight hours. Yes. 15 rooms and some rooms have double beds and some rooms are even sweet and you have to clean the mirrors. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's something that I never ever thought that I could do. But I have to do it. Yes, I have to do it. So I did housekeeping for like six, seven, eight months, something like that. Yes. So I was like, I can't do it. Vandalin, you cannot do it. You can't. I can't. So I moved to another department in the same hotel. And guess what? Just because I heard the name stewarding, I was like, wow, I love that word. Steward. Yes, stewarding. That word sounded so beautiful. Please go to school. Yes, it sounded so beautiful. So I was like, okay, fine. Let me go there. So I moved to that department. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hmm. My heart, my head was pounding. <laughs> <laughs> my head was pounding guys you wouldn't believe it like i went there, i had to be cleaning the spoons the plates the dishes we have to push big carts to, to conventions like it's just a huge like it was just another headache like something that i could not even imagine like i wouldn't even imagine like god how did i get here yes how did i get here okay so it was just too much because it's a huge hotel and they deal with a large, like a huge number of people, like 10,000, 15,000 coming for convention and you have to feed them. That's a lot. Oh, come on. This is like a huge one. So from there, I was like, I can't do it. So I had to move to another department. Then I now moved to marketplace attendant. Yes, that's where I'm still working to today. So there is a little bit simple, but it's a but. And what makes it more fun is the type of people I work with. My team members, my co-workers, guys, they are so amazing. Like there's never a boring moment 
at my workplace. Never, ever. And I mean every single word of it. Like, there's never, ever a boring moment with that. So what we basically do is like, what we basically do is like, we uh, attend to the guest, receive calls, deliver food to the room. It's a food and beverage department. So we basically deal with food and beverages. So we stock food outside, they come and buy, you know, everything. See, I will tell you guys a lot about my workplace because it's very interesting because if not because of the type of people that actually work there. Ah, Jesus. Ah. I don't, I, don't, I don't go no. I don't go. So I've been working there for quite a while now, for like five, six years now. And um yeah. And apart from that, I've also worked like in home goods, like as a as a sales girl. Yes, I work there. I've done Uber. I've done Uber taxi. Yeah, I don't do um I've done a lot of it because I actually love driving a lot. So I've actually done Uber for quite a long time. So, you know, hustling side job, you know what I'm saying? Here and there, there and there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then finally, I am a licensed financial specialist. Yes, I deal with finances. And um, let me just say it another way. I am a licensed financial broker. Like, I am an insurance agent. I do sell insurance. Now, this is a big topic. This is a part of me that I would really like. You hear me talk about it a lot of time because that is my side hustle that I really, really need to invest myself a lot on it because who don't like better thing? Who don't like better thing? Because Vandalin like better thing. Me, I love better things and I want to improve myself. I want to build myself. And being an insurance agent or let me say a financial specialist would really like, you know, give me. First of all, the most important thing is we help you protect your life and that of your family. We help you put your money at the right place in order to generate more income. We help you sell for your school, for your college tuition. We help you also to keep a legacy. Like, what is the name of your great grandfather? What is the name of your great grandfather? Oh, yeah, tell me. Write it in the comment section if you know the name of your great grandfather. Yes. The few of us, I mean, one percent of us, we don't even know because they didn't keep anything for us. Nothing. Imagine you were growing up and your daddy has <laughs> in, um, a, let me say, a hospital. Your daddy has. A, a number of hotels or number of schools, you know, things like that. You'll be like, oh, that my great grandfather did this. Oh, I have, we inherit that is called generational wealth. We don't have it. I don't have it. I don't know about you. But if we did not have it, doesn't mean we cannot keep it for our generation. No, mama, we can do it. So that generational poverty cause that is in my family. I will break it down. And this is the way to break it down. So we will talk more. I will talk more about this because this is one of the things that I wish the entire world knows about it. It's really interesting. And we will talk more and more and more about it. Boom. There you go. So that is my short story. Yes. Anyways, let us go to part two. Yes. Two, fun facts about me. Fun facts about Vandaline. Number one, as you already know, I talk too much. Yes. I talk too much. But I know you love my talking. It's okay. I know you love it. Because the way I talk, I make you happy. So, <laughs> yes, I'm that type of person that really like talks too much. And um, that's my fun fact number one. You would really diagnose it before even like getting up to me because my face, if my mouth is not talking, my face is talking. My body is talking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fun fact number two. Ah, I love music. I love music. It is in my veins. Yes. Music is all over me. Like I love singing a lot. And by the way, I'm recording this video today on Sunday. I actually sang in church. Yes, I did. I love singing like if anything i don't care the mood but as long as music plays girl 
That is how my mood swings like that. Yes. And by the way, I actually bought a piano. <laughs> Look at me. So if you know how to play a piano, please. I don't mind. Even if it's three keys or four keys. Just teach me. I will learn. Biko, I will learn. Kiwo, I will learn. Yes. That is fun fact number two. Fun fact number three. Your girl loves to travel. I love to travel. I love water. I love water. And summer is almost here. My man is just thinking of how I'm going to be going to the beach like every freaking weekend. Like I want to go to the beach every every other weekend because who does not like fun? Who does not like fun? I do love yes. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yes, I do love to have fun and I love water. But the worst thing is I know if you swim all. It's okay. And I'm going to lose this fat. You see this fat here like that? This jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to lose fat because I want to fit inside that bikini. I want to fit perfectly well. Perfectly well. Yes, I want to fit very well in my bikini. I want to enjoy my summer. And I will take you everywhere. Yes, I will take you everywhere. I will take you wherever I go. You will love it. You will love it. You will love it. Trust me, you will love it. As long as it's coming for me, you will really, really love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyways, fact fact number four, I love to eat. Mm -hmm. Yes, I eat too much. I really do. Who does not like food? And I also want, I like, I love to try different, different types of food from different countries, different cultures, different everywhere. I love it. I love it. So please, if you want, if you if you have food they want me to try, please we we'll try it together. Mm. <laughs> okay, part three. Let's talk about our goals. My goals for this channel, like I really told you, goal number one. We talk about finances. We talk about side hustle. We talk about how to generate that wealth. Do you remember that money that I said? The, you remember that question I asked you, whether you know the name of your great-grandfather? Yes. If you don't know, make sure your great-grandchildren know your own name. So we we'll talk about it. We we'll talk about how we, go, we are going to reach there. Yes, that is point number one. We we'll talk about that one very well. We we'll talk about money and wealth. Keep a legacy. Generate income, enjoy that money while you are still alive. Yes, we talk about that. Number two, we talk about relationships. Like, I've accumulated a lot of stories over the years that I cannot just wait to like explode them. Like, I'm going to tell you guys everything about breakup, about relationship, wrong relationship, fake relationships, about growth. <sighs> Yes, we talk about that. <laughs> we talk a lot about that. And lastly, we travel the world. That is the goal, girl. Yes, we talk a lot about travel because I am going to travel. I am going to travel a lot. I mean, this year I've already planned like five trips already, but I don't even have money. <laughs> I do have a lot because seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto thee. Amen. We will travel. We will travel a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, I mean, that is everything about me. And um, with time, you will know more and more and more. And the good thing, and the good thing is that you can never ever get bored with me. You can never ever get bored with me never a boring moment with vandalin so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time if you've watched this far ah ah sister brother ah, you love me you're already in love with me ah, ah. please do like subscribe and share make sure that you hit that bell button because you cannot afford to miss this phone you cannot just afford you will not afford to miss this phone because this girl you're seeing here 
Like, if you're not happy, then what are you doing? You have one life. Sis, come on, let's have fun. Mm? Watch and share and comment. Don't enjoy by yourself. Share, because sharing is caring. I love you all and happy Sunday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, bye.